So in this video I'll show you how to take apart your laptop charger or any other AC adapter so that you can fix it. Now most of these, believe it or not, I would say more than 95% of these just have bad cables. They break at the stress point. This one is broken right here. Uh, let's see if we can get that. You can kind of see how it's wiggly there. And if you wiggle the cable right at this spot, then it'll make and break and you'll see it charging and not charging. Or it could break at this stress point. This is a little harder because if it breaks on this end, right here, then you generally have to replace the whole cable. When it breaks closer to the brick, then you can just shorten the cable and it'll work fine again. The hardest part is taking it apart. Here's another one, uh, another failure. The cables sometimes get bitten. You can see where this one's been, looks like it might have been run over by an office chair. Sometimes they're bitten by pets, kittens and puppies love to chew on these things. So again, the hardest part is how do you get these open? Now, the usually recommended procedures are wrong. You never want to use a razor knife. You can get horribly cut doing that. Don't ever use a razor knife. Another recommended procedure is to use a hacksaw. Well, I don't recommend that because it takes away too much material and then you can't put the case back together. So here's the three tools that you need. You need a hammer. Any claw hammer will do. You need a chisel. This is a one inch chisel and it better be sharp. Don't try doing this with a dull chisel. And you need a bench vise. So we'll show you how this works. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to clamp clamp your charger in the bench vise. I usually like to put the bottom side down. And I like to clamp it just below the dividing line. Now, you can try to tighten it, but not too much. If you're lucky, you'll get a little crack. Let's see if this one will crack open for us. There it is. Did you hear that little crack? Sometimes, believe it or not, that's all you need to do. The whole thing will split wide open and you can pry it apart with your bare hands. I don't think that's going to happen this time. It doesn't usually happen. So we're going to use our nice sharp chisel. Now you want to put the chisel in this way. You want to get it right in that crack. And you just give it a few good taps. This is a one inch sharp chisel. Keep it in the crack. How's that folks? Can you see that? Now I could probably pop this whole thing apart. By the way, this is going to go back together perfectly with my bare hands. But I might crack the plastic if I did that. So a better way, I really shouldn't have pulled that apart here. Better way is to put it back in the vise. And to just open up the other side. Here we go. Both sides open. It goes back together perfectly. You'd never know that it had been split apart. No damage whatsoever. After you repair the cord, you could glue this back together. Usually I just put some big packing tape around it. It's very easy, very safe. I've never hurt myself doing this. Let's try the other one. Again, you clamp it right below the seam. Now, this one has already creaked for me because I had it in here, so I don't think we're going to get that little click. 
doesn't matter, I'm sure it'll come open. The secret is to stay in the groove. We got one side open. Do the other. Okay, so I didn't get it. If you didn't get it, just do it again. There it is. There it is. Perfect. Now we can desolder the cable and fix it. So I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.